What really is the definition of marine pollution? It's the release of toxins and chemicals into Earth's bodies of water that creates instability in our ecosystems. It creeps around the world, spreading through every ocean and destroying habitats everywhere. You can only blame this on humans as we release gasoline into our water and treat it as another wasteland. Domestic and industrial waste have been practically poured into our water bodies for many decades, and we now release about 2 million tons of sewage a day, equivalent to the weight of Earth's entire population. This can be caused by warehouses or other places releasing greenhouse gases into the air. Those gases condense and fall as acid rain. Some of that acid rain falls into the ocean, therefore decreasing its pH. The pH of our oceans are usually 8.2. But due to this phenomenon, it is falling, and by the end of the century, the pH will have dropped by 0.5 units. Some interesting facts about marine pollution include how the United Nations Environment Program estimated in 2006 that every square mile of ocean contains 46,000 pieces of floating plastics. Plastic debris cause the deaths of more than a million seabirds every year, as well as more than 100,000 marine mammals. The North Pacific Gyre, known as the Great Pacific Garbage Patch, occupies a relatively stationary area that is twice the size of Texas. Luckily, there are several ways to stop or reduce the effects of marine pollution. In addition to the international, federal, and local laws that regulate actions contributing to pollution everyday practice of people can help. One way is to organize local community beach cleanups where groups can pick up and dispose of all the trash they can find. Another way is to always remember to throw garbage and waste away in trash cans or recycling bins. One more way is to find other methods of travel to decrease the amount of fossil fuels going into our oceans. Hopefully you will carry on our efforts to educate people or do a project of your own. We thank you very much for watching this video and taking the time to learn about this dangerous process.